Fusion 360 can't export an SVG or a DXF file by default, but there are post processes available from AutoCAD that can export DXF files or SVG files. In this case, I want to be able to export an SVG file for use on a Glowforge laser cutter. First, we need to set up our manufacturing workspace toolpaths. In the manufacturer workspace, we can click on a new setup. We want to make sure this setup is a cutting operation. Then we can select our model, select all the pieces of the model that you want to use, and then click OK. Now we need a new cutting operation. Select a 2D profile. For the tool, select the laser cutter that has the correct kerf for your laser cutter. You can simply set up a new tool and then put in the kerf width of your laser cutter. Once you've selected your tool, we need to select the geometry. Select each of the pieces that you want to cut out. Then we need to select the passes. If you want the kerf to be adjusted, make sure you select left or right. If you want to cut right on the line, select center. Then we need to make sure that we select in computer because we're not sending the G code to the laser cutter. We are calculating it ahead of time and then using an SVG file to send to the Glowforge. So select in computer, then press OK. Now we need to get the Glowforge post processor. We can get that from Autodesk. At cam.autodesk.com slash hsmposts, we can look for different post processes. If I type in SVG, we have a Glowforge SVG file right here. So we can download this and then add it to our post processes in Fusion. Once you've added that post process, we can select the profile cut that we've created. Then we can click on post process. In personal post, rather than generic post, we can select Glowforge. Then we can click OK. We can then save this as our Glowforge toolpath. We need to add the .svg when we save it. If you forget to do this, you can always do that in your file browser. If I save that, then I can open it up in the vector program of my choice, such as Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, or Inkscape, and then edit the strokes and colors to fit the laser cutter that I'm using. So here I have this SVG file, and it is editable and saveable. So hopefully that works for setting up SVG file toolpaths with automatic curves for your Glowforge laser cutter.